The first group of students to begin training in the Garda College since 2009 were addressed by the Minister for Justice and Equality, Francis Fitzgerald TD, and the Garda Commissioner, Noreen O'Sullivan, on Monday, September 15th, at the Garda College in Templemore. The 100 students are made up of 18 females and 82 males. 24 of the students are former Garda Reserve members. A total of 22 Irish counties are accounted for in the group, with Dublin providing the largest number of students with 26. Eight counties provide one student each, while there are two students with current addresses outside the Republic of Ireland, in Suffolk and London. All students are Irish citizens and age from the ages of 20 to 33. You're all very welcome here today. Um, this is a very significant day for Ngardi Shikana. It's a very significant day for the Garda College. Uh, we're receiving our first 100 recruits uh, since 2009. Many of the students hold various degrees in law, business, biotechnology, social studies, environmental engineering and sociology, and masters in criminology, human rights and criminal justice. And the working backgrounds of the Garda students also vary, from engineers, fitness instructors, psychiatric nurses, carpenters and plumbers. During the course of their training, students will undertake a BA in Applied Policing. This programme was developed following a comprehensive review of Garda training in 2009. The BA is an accelerated programme with the students carrying out three phases of learning. This programme is credited by the University of Limerick. Good morning everybody and it is indeed it's a great pleasure to be here and see uh, a room full of new students. Addressing the students, Garda Commissioner Noreen O'Sullivan said the recruitment process was a very unusual one, with 25,000 people applying to join the force. However, with just 100 positions available, it was one of the strongest and toughest competitions in recent years. Because it is a career like no other. It's changing faster than any other. And for the last couple of years, we've been under constant scrutiny, sometimes enmeshed in controversy, and some of it created by ourselves. But you know what we shouldn't forget? is that despite all of that, and despite all of the negativity recently, 25,000 people, 25,000 members of our community wanted to join on Garda Shikana. Like you, they know that change is needed within the service, uh, but they still want to join us, and they still want to commit their lives to the police service and the work that we as police service do in serving and giving something back to our communities. The Commissioner wished well those of the 25,000 people who didn't succeed in getting through on this occasion, but described those who did as the brightest, the best and the elite. And that doesn't in any way take away from those other people that applied to join on Garda Shikona. They're all really, really good people. But you are the creme de la creme, and you are the top 100 that rose. The brightest and the best, and the elite. So thank you all very much. This positive and good news story for the Garda Force was overshadowed by new revelations over the past weekend regarding the penalty points controversy. The Commissioner denied that the entire force is ill-disciplined. She also said the new policy system which came in in June is being strictly implemented. We have a very transparent system. Uh, as you say, the new policy came in in June. The decision making for, cancell for cancellation of penalty points is restricted to three people and that has been very strictly implemented and adhered to. Now, if, allowing for the new information that has come into our possession, if that information is upheld, and if there are any infringements identified, they will be dealt with. But I think it's very important that we examine the new information and that we ensure that the information, and we look and see exactly what the timeline of that information is, because that's a very important factor. Um, I've always had an interest in policing. I spent the last four and a half years in the Reserve Guard and some of around Dublin, so got to see it first hand and I'd like to do it as a career now full time. Your family must be very proud, considering there were so many people, 24,000 people applied for just 100. Yeah, well we feel very privileged to be here today and we worked very hard, the guy was as well, so it's still some good steps that I work to be here to do this today. Well it was a career that I was already always interested in, um, I think it will be exciting and diverse career, um, financially secure and very rewarding as well. What were you doing before? I was an off-license manager before I was a guy, before I got here. Plenty of on-field experience there. Plenty of on-field experience, dealing with aggression, yeah, and all that sort of stuff. Nothing but...
when you have 24 murders being investigated by our frontline guardie and all but three resulting in convictions. That's the work that's being done day in, day out. And today is an opportunity uh, to say thank you to the force for all of the work that's done, to welcome the new recruits. This is a positive day uh, for Angarda Shikona with 100 new recruits here uh, in Templemore and continuous recruitment uh, happening as well. So this is a positive day in terms of the new recruits. It's also a sign, I have to say, of our economic recovery, uh, where we can have those uh, new recruits uh, here in Templemore today. Commissioner, you have no control over here. Your, your, I think it's very, very important that we put this in context. And yes, it, new information has been brought to our notice, and we will look at that, and we're taking it with extreme seriousness. But I do not think that that should in any way detract from the work and the excellent work that the men and women of Garda Shikana do every single day, the support that they provide to the community and also the support that the community provide to Garda Shikana. The full training programme will be completed in three phases. Phase one over 32 weeks, phase two over 34 weeks and phase three over 38 weeks. Declan Kyo, Emergency Times.ie at the Garda College, Templemore.